A Guilford County mom says she's worried about her son and other classmates. She says his school didn't have heat or running water. She told WFMY News 2's Jalen Gilkey what she found when she walked into the classroom. When Selena Reveron walked into her son's classroom at Madison Elementary last Wednesday, she immediately knew something was wrong. Below average temperatures and the stale smell of sitting water. So she started asking questions and then reached out to us. Actually, I walked into the classroom and it was really cold and I was just like, hey, what's going on? Selena Reveron's son, Mateo, is a student at Madison Elementary School. She says her son's classroom was in terrible condition at the beginning of the spring semester. What caught my attention is the Guilford County maintenance trucks. Um, every time I would drop my son off, there would be like three, four trucks outside. And so Reveron did what any parent would do. She went to go see it for herself. I started talking to Mateo, asking him questions. Um, I started talking to other parents, um, seeing what's going on with them. You know, I, you know, had correspondence with his teachers, you know, because I knew that it was so cold in there that the kids were wearing their outerwear inside. It was so cold in her son's classroom, she decided to do something about it. I actually went and got um, heaters for his classroom. Um, to try and help with the situation. I took them up there, um, and that's actually what they're using now. However, according to Reveron, there are more issues at Madison Elementary than just the heat, burst pipes, mold, broken ceiling tiles, and even water damage. I want transparency, but if we entrust you to have them during certain hours of the day, I want to make sure they're in a building that is functioning and that is safe for them. I spoke with Guilford, Guilford County Schools today and they told me they're almost done fixing the water issues and the burst pipes. They also say that they've treated mold and replaced the ceiling tiles. The district tells me the problems at Madison are among 62 repair projects that began the day after Christmas. As for the heat problems, the district sent me a statement and it reads in part, additional portable heating units are being placed in six Madison Elementary classrooms. We ask parents to be patient as we continue to work at this and other facilities across the district.